and charismatic men have played 007. The British agent who breaks all the rules, but always gets the villain. James Bond is known for his taste in fast cars, beautiful women, and dry martinis. Over 20 films have been made about his adventures, films that have earned an approximate $11 billion worldwide. Recently, Sean Connery, considered by many to be the definitive Bond, received the 34th American Film Institute Life Achievement Award in honor of his acting work. Connery starred in seven Bond films, but originally, Ian Fleming, the creator of the James Bond series, was unwilling to cast Connery, considering him too unrefined. A female friend of Fleming's begged to differ, persuading him that Connery had that something special, and the rest is history. Fellow actors and stars lined up to pay tribute to the actor who defined Bond cool. He's my father my uh, mentor, my uh, inspiration. Great man, wonderful occasion. I'm delighted to be here to honor him. And Sean Connery was filming in Vegas and he came to see my show. So he knocked the dressing room door and this bodyguard that I had, he looked up and he says, yes, Mr. Connery, what can I do for you? You know what I mean? Like, but you know, so Sean went and lifted him up, my bodyguard, and just placed him over to the right, uh, to the left, his left hand side. I just walked in. <laughs> the current James Bond is the British actor Daniel Craig. Craig is the sixth actor to play Bond after Connery, George Lazenby, Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, and most recently, Piers Brosnan. Craig breaks the mold for James Bond because he's the first blonde, but his masculine charisma more than qualifies him for the part. Craig's first Bond film, Casino Royale, returns to the very first Ian Fleming book, which details how the secret agent became the ruthless James Bond. I can tell you about this movie, um, and I'm not going to compare it to any other Bond movie, um, but this is a new departure, and there is um, a lot of new things, but a lot of, the uh, a lot of the Bond themes that are still in this, it has to be, because we're making a James Bond movie. Um, but wait and see. Many men and women fantasize about a life filled with luxury and adventure, and an exhibition of 007 memorabilia assembled at London's Science Museum offers the public a chance to make that wish come just a little bit true. All the accoutrements of the Bond world are on display, including props, images, storyboards, costumes, and the famous Bond car, the Aston Martin Vanquish. It's your chance to become a secret agent for the day. You're given a, a swipe card, a little credit card thing, and you go around the exhibition finding out as much as you can about James Bond, the films, the phenomena. Um, you're tested along the way, and then at the end of the exhibition, you're rated as to whether you're going to make it into MI6 or not. Ian Fleming, the creator of James Bond, was no shy retiring writer. His adventure-filled life was on display recently at the British Imperial War Museum. Fleming drew on his own war experiences and his work as a travel writer and journalist to create the iconic secret agent. Ian was not a man of action. He would have liked to have been one. Uh, he, in fact, he volunteered to go on a mission in the war, but Admiral Godfrey, his boss, wouldn't allow him to go because he was too valuable. But um, and Bond did all the things that he couldn't do. The silver grey Aston Martin DB5 is the epitome of cool partly because of its association with James Bond. Originally of British build and design, Aston Martins are a luxury performance car, first manufactured in the 1920s. The Aston Martin combination of timeless elegance and power has made them popular with car aficionados worldwide. Despite financial concerns and a number of takeovers, including Ford, the car continues to be manufactured today with Aston Martin recently opening a dealership in Beijing to take advantage of the new moneyed Chinese consumer. At a recent festival in Britain, 300 cars took part in a parade, driving past the Queen and Prince Philip. Nine decades of the beautiful car help illustrate the continuing qualities 
that have kept Aston Martin on the timeless classics list. The fact that it's still here looking pretty good, really, after all those years, uh, a lot of the years of neglect, I think speaks well for the, the solidity and quality of Aston Martins. I think that's what people love about them. It's rather like a, a Rolex watch. It comes apart and goes together again with perfection. The late King Hussein of Jordan was a collector who knew and loved his luxury cars. Abdullah Hussein recently opened the museum in Jordan as a tribute to his father. And the collection of classic and vintage cars is a veritable who's who of top quality luxury cars. With over 50 on display, many of the vehicles have been used on official occasions including the late king's coronation and public wedding celebrations. One car that can safely lay claim to the label timeless luxury is the German-built Mercedes-Benz. The choice of kings and the rich the world over, King Hussein's 1968 Mercedes 300 has a special story to tell. In this Mercedes, King Hussein survived a failed assassination attempt in Suela and thank God no one was wounded and nothing happened to the car. One of the hallmarks of a timeless luxury is that it both maintains its classic features and keeps pace with the modern world. Mercedes are prized for their design elegance and on-road performance. But Mercedes-Benz has also introduced many safety and technological innovations that have been incorporated into other cars. The average American now spends 17 hours a week in their car, so for those who can afford it, a stylish and comfortable drive is only the beginning. For Mercedes-Benz, electronic gadgets help differentiate their brand. GPS navigation has been standard in Mercedes since the early 1990s. And Bluetooth connectivity has been in the C-Class Mercedes since 2007. As for music selection, it's goodbye to the old CD player. We're seeing a lot of integration of uh, obviously MP3 players. Uh, everybody wants an integration kit to allow allow their uh, their iPod or their MP3 player to come into the car and to be controlled by the car, to be controlled easily uh, using good menus, and that's where we're going uh, most lately. As well as super fast uh, hard drive based navigation systems, which is new for 2009. Many of our cars now have no more DVD drive; they're running off of a hard drive, which gives you super fast directions. Really quick calculation. Some luxury brands and stars shine bright but quickly fade. It's only with time and distance that we can say with certainty who and what will become timeless.